Hi, how's everyone doing? Happy 4th of July. Today is Independence Day. So welcome to day five of our five day challenge on how to how to transition from employee to entrepreneur and I'm so excited because today's day five I can't believe like five days flew by so quickly and it's so perfect because today's Independence Day and um, Independence is freedom freedom from everything that's stopping you in all areas of life so imagine what freedom really looks like for you like I'm actually curious like what does freedom truly look like for you Freedom from what? Freedom from um, what kind of worries? I was just on the phone with uh, someone. Um, I actually was on the phone with a good friend who was talking about worries. So freedom from worries. Like what are those? Like what are those? Like what's coming up? So I'd love to hear that. So freedom. Uh, like I, I look at freedom as like freedom from situations, people, events, past experiences that no longer serve you, and really imagining what your life would be like when you truly create the freedom freedom that you are meant to live because we were born free we were all free spirits and free beings we were born to create and just be awesome so um, I know out of the four-day challenge I would love to celebrate some wins from what you created out of the past four days yesterday we talked about resistance so I hope you did not have resistance actually doing the uh, the challenge and the exercise uh, and if you did which would be funny uh, you get to go back to uh, day four yesterday and you get to go back to the first day and get caught up on the daily challenges and would love to hear what breakthroughs you've, you've been experiencing and what opportunities have opened up for you from doing this challenge it's been so much fun by the way so um, Today we're actually gonna cover how to create your own freedom, as in how do you create a plan for you to really step into your freedom and really step into the business that you wanna create. So tip number one is you wanna set a deadline. You wanna set a launch date. When are you planning on launching your business? What is the date? And we have, we've all heard this quote, um, a goal without a date is pretty much a dream, right? So you get to really be clear on when you plan on launching your business. Like what date? Are you gonna do it by the end of the year? Is your date like, you know, December 31st uh, of this year, 2018? Or is it um, January, you know, whatever, Jan whatever date? Is it like first quarter, second quarter of next year? What is the date? Like set a deadline. And um, I always like to say reverse engineer. Reverse engineer means work your way backwards. So whatever the date is, is reverse engineer and work your way backwards and what you get to do is you get to look at scheduling the time so if you're working a nine to five job right now say you're working like 40 hours a week most people actually work more than that most people work like 50 60 hours a week I used to work like 70 80 hours a week when I was in corporate so I totally get what working so many hours looks like um, and it's exhausting I'll just tell you that right now it's super exhausting so what you get to do is you actually get to create how many hours a week are you willing and you're committed to putting to build your business so is it five hours a week is it 10 hours a week what does that look like and actually scheduling the time to do it and committing to do it and most people actually don't follow through on their commitments to themselves and they also uh, fall short when it comes to implementation a lot of people like don't implement and that's where people don't get results because what's in the gap is actually taking the action to get the result and that's my experience working with people and even my own personal experience I've had that myself so I'm no I mean I'm no different I've come a long way to say the least all right guys and the other thing another tip for you is to really save money right now so that when you create your startup and create your business you're actually positioning yourself to have a, a financial buffer that will support you when you're still like in the ramp up phase building things up and then moving on to the next phase and you always have like that cushion so decide on what that actually looks like for you like how much money you, are you going to put aside to help you really get your business started and get your startup uh, up and running and um, again creating a structure so you get to create a structure going back to scheduling uh, 
committing, following through on your commitments, and following up and making sure that you actually fulfill on that. And um, being a strong starter and a finisher. Most people, I'll tell you from experience, including myself, I actually used to be a very, very strong starter and a shitty finisher. And what I mean by that, like I would be involved like with a hundred different projects and it probably would just get five done. You know what I mean? And because I was over extending myself, I was over exerting myself. And so your, your commitment is really honing in and being laser focused on what you're committed to creating and you get to be not only a strong starter, you also get to be a strong finisher as in actually producing the result that you want. So that's another tip for you. And a lot of people don't um, know the distinction between investing in yourself and spending money. And if you're in business, it's a very different mindset, uh, like an employee versus entrepreneur mindset. And if you're treating your business as a hobby, you're never gonna make money. I'm gonna tell you that right now. And if you're treating it as a business, you will make money. So what you get to do is you get to think about are you treating this as a side hobby or are you treating it as a business and are you putting in your employee mentality into this which is you know spending money versus investing in an inve investment what that looks like is you get a return on that investment so you put in money like if you're upgrading your skills, your knowledge, your abilities, uh, your systems for you to build your business and have a good uh, infrastructure for your business, you're actually investing because you can monetize that and you can get a return on investment. Spending means you're actually like spending money and you're not getting anything in return. So you're paying your bills and all that stuff. You're not getting, getting anything in return. That's spending. So really, really get clear on that because that will really support you in putting together a plan for yourself um, and having someone and hold, like holding yourself accountable and having someone hold you accountable to your results, your goals, so you actually get to achieve the result that you're committed to achieving. So um, imagine what it would feel like for you if you actually got to celebrate completing and got to fully step into your power and also to push through the resistance, pu pu I'm just, okay, we talk. push through the resistance, push through the hard stuff and really operate from a space of creating, operate from a space of being free, operate from a space of being independent, right? So what would open up for you? What is possible for you when you come from that space? So um, here's my challenge for you. So the challenge is you actually get to decide on a date and a deadline that you're going to use to fulfill on your business. So post what that date looks like for you, whether it's going to be December 31st of this year, when the next year, like be specific, like make it measurable and specific, like exactly what date and then reverse engineer. And then the other challenge for you is to actually schedule time to make, uh, to work on your business. So, are you, and then decide, are you going to be putting five hours a week? Are you going to be putting 10 hours a week? Or how much time are you going to be putting into building your business? And you want to decide, commit and succeed, right? That's really where you want to go. So that's the challenge. So post what comes up for you and if you want to go deep in any one of these topics as I previously said in my other videos what you can do is you can comment below and what you want to go deep in and I can definitely um, connect with you and for the first two people who post hashtag employee the number two entrepreneur um, down here in the box uh, or in the comments below I will be reaching out to you to support you with coming up with a plan that will support you with building your business so like I said for the first two people who comment hashtag employee to entrepreneur all right um, I'm gonna leave you with a final quote and the quote is by Marsha Blackburn and the quote is the American dream is independence and being able to create that dream for yourself right so and that's really what it is we're all here we, we live in America uh, and we're blessed to be in America and we're blessed to be in the best country in the world the greatest country in the world and so you get actually get to create your American dream, create your dream, and actually not just create it, actually be it and live it. So love you guys. Thank you so much. It was such a great opportunity to be part of this five day challenge. If you have any questions, comment below and uh, have an amazing, beautiful, free, loving, and abundant day. All right, bye for now. Thank you.